TV. Hi, this is Paul Golding reporting for BMP TV News. I'm here in the town, the East Anglian town of Bury St Edmunds. I'm joined with uh, National Elections Officer Eddie Butler. Eddie, can you give us an idea why we're here today? Well, what it is, it's the 11th of June. David Lucas, one of our top candidates in the recent European elections for Eastern Region, is answering charges in uh, uh, Bury St Edmunds police station behind us. Just a few days into the election campaign, just after the, uh, his candidacy was announced, his farm in Suffolk was raided by the police, armed police from the anti-terrorist squad, hundreds of them from all over the country were drafted in to uh, search his property on trumped up charges. Uh, significantly, he wasn't charged with anything, he was asked to come back here after the election to answer charges, almost certainly they are going to be dropped because it was a political uh, arrest to try and embarrass us in the run-up to the European election. And that's why we're here today to so, show support for David. Excellent. So David Lucas, one of our European election candidates in the recent elections. Where is he now? Well, he's inside there. <laughs> he's inside in, the, the police in station. The police station, yeah. He's in there right. now. We'll see him shortly, hopefully shortly, when he comes out and asks what's actually happened. So he's in there now, waiting to see whether he's been charged or not with these, these, these trumped-up, politically motivated charges. That's exactly right, yeah. Right, well, um, we're here demonstrating in support of him, so we're going to stay here as long as it takes until he comes out. Um, so we'll, we'll get back to you when he comes out. Yep, thanks a lot. Hello, I'm with David Lucas, he's just been released from uh, Bury St Edmunds Police Station. So, uh, David, what's happened then? Right, I've been inside now, I've been, um, I thought today I was going to get my assets back and um, released and the business could all carry on, but obviously not. They've bailed me now to reappear again on the 9th of July at 11 o'clock, allegedly handing stolen property again, which is no truth in the matter whatsoever. This all actually stems from when I contested the EU post on the withdrawal from Europe where we should save the 60 billion a year and put back to our own pe people and our own interest in the regeneration of Britain. On exact that same day they went to the courts, got a warrant for me arrest. I was arrested and locked up on St George's Day, therefore re locked up that day as you all know about. I attended here today, hoping to have my assets back, like I've said to you a little while ago, but instead I've got to reappear on the 9th of July. So they're just keeping it going, as they do often in these cases, to cause you inconvenience by the looks of things? That is causing inconvenience because my companies have all closed down, from the pest control division through to my animal feed and bedding, and also with my elephant grass business as well. They're all ceased because I've got the telephone numbers for all of them contacts and also the damage in what they've done for us in a political way is because I'd spent a number of years now building up for this European election and they ceased my numbers a month before the election which obviously they've devastated us. Yeah, well that's the sort of thing that happens in Britain today. We have to see what happens in uh, July but uh, that's the sort of thing they do, just to mess around, they keep you on the never never, keep pushing the date back, date back until they eventually just drop the charges. That's the sort of way they, uh, they handle these things. And uh, we'll have to keep fighting them all the way. We will keep fighting them and I think now, people now in the country now can start seeing the kind of intimidation that the British National Party is getting, right, sticking up for the British people and the British workers of this country, right, and we no longer want to be a second class citizen in our own country and this is an act now which I'm carrying out and nearly a million other people now signed that form for us in the European Parliament right? and we will keep getting bigger and we will win them. Right, thank you very much David.